Good morning. 23rd of September 2022. I'm back. I've had to come back because I've had that many things saying come back, so I'm here. Hey, right, I've got a nice guest this morning because I get the guests. Mr. Reese Mogg, the Victorian casualty. Good morning. How are you going? Good morning, Long John. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. Right, I've got some questions off public. Of public? Ah, <laughs> okay, ah. let them go, John. You said that you wouldn't work under anybody else but Boris Johnson, so what are they doing now then? That's balderdash, John, you know. Balderdash? I went through a school with uh, Boris, he's such a, a good friend of mine, and uh, obviously I was sad to see him go, but, yeah. and I could have gone with him, but do you know what, John? I, it's my duty to my country to... Uh, to Fuck it, it up. My, <laughs> <laughs> to give it my all, and uh, so I'm, I'm prepared to stand uh, and serve list. So. Right, right then. What's your views? I, I know this is a good question for you. What's your views on paid holidays for workers? Well, uh, my, I've made them uh, known uh, clearly. I think they should be scrapped. I mean, why would you get paid for not going to work? How did that come about? How did that come about? I'll never understand why people would have four weeks paid, paid leave. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah, but you've just had six weeks off because somebody's deed and, well, uh, no, and we've got an holiday. And... John, when you were saying we're off, we're not in Parliament, but I'm doing loads of work in my constituency. Oh, right, right. What is your view on the British worker? Is it the same as Liz Truss's? Well, I've got to be honest, they, they don't apply themselves as well as they can in the workplace, you know. Uh, I mean, they have been called idlers. I draw the line at that. They're not quite idlers. Slackers is probably a better term. All oh, right, right, right. What's your views on fracking? Well, fracking. This is this is a this is this is one of my uh, main aims to get this country fracked. And we're going to frack this country. Uh, we, we we need to get some gas. We, we're importing it. What's the point in that? We sat on millions and millions of tons of gas. So what we're going to do in your area, especially our oh, excuse me. Especially all up north, we're going to build some flaking pads about the size of three football fields. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to put anything up to nine wells on each pad, and we're going to put some storage tanks, and then we're going to we're going to drill down, and then drill along, and then then. It's called kicking off when you drill along. It's kicking off, well, yeah, exactly, John. And what we're doing, we're going to kick off, and then we're going to pump a mixture of chemicals and water and diesel uh, into into the. Uh, to the earth's crust, we're going to fracture it and release all the gas, and then it's cheap gas for everybody. And then we can do that every like two miles, we can have a, the no, same flaking okay. wheel, two miles either direction. So up north, you'll be, we'll be going to twin it with Texas. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, we've heard there's a mini budget today. Oh, yes. Uh, in yes. today's mini budget, will there be any help for anybody, on for those unfortunate enough to be on universal credit? Well, obviously, John, this is not my decision, but I've had a, I've had a word of course, and he. Uh, and I do agree with him. What he's going to do with them people in universal credit is going to help them get back into work. The way he's going to do that is going to uh, stop the benefits if they don't attend uh, work coach interviews, job interviews. And uh, the sooner we get these people, and particularly, John, in this case, the over 50s. Oh, you're getting them back to work. Yeah, since the pandemic, people have found out that they can manage without work. They don't need work. They sooner have the time than the than work. They don't want to devote the time to work. They want to stop at home and get the money for nothing. Uh, that's got to come to a stop, unfortunately, because the sooner we get them over 50 back into it, the sooner we get the uh, economy boosted, right. the sooner we get this country back onto its feet. Right. Uh, is lifting the cap on the banker's bonus, is that a good thing? It probably will well, be. It should it? never have been capped in the first place, John, you know, because this is this helps stimulate the economy. The more money they get, the more money trickles down. It's called a trickle-down economy, you know what I mean? Mm. You pay the bankers who don't, let's face it, John, if it weren't for the bankers, could you imagine the state this country would be in? Yes, I could imagine how better, how much better the country would be. Uh, last question, because this is really deep in your heart. How's Brexit going? Oh, it's, uh, you know, John, I was just thinking, uh, I was looking yesterday and uh, I can't believe how well it's going. Oh, yeah. You know what, uh, yeah, we get, we get, we're getting rid of the EU regulations in 2023. This country is free of all EU regulations. So if you want to work 100 hours, you'll be able to. We can put the work in uh, hours directive up, yeah. So I'm going to advocate we can put up for 60 hours, get people out of the houses and into the workplace, stimulate the economy, stimulate growth, low inflation, 
Loading chest. Boom, boom. Win, win. <laughs> Have a great day. Good morning.